Did you know that God will never give up on you? Although we may turn our back on God, God will never turn his back on us. In fact, the Bible reminds us in 2 Timothy 2 and verse 13 that even though we are faithless, he remains faithful for he cannot deny himself. You see, God cannot deny who he is. He cannot deny his nature and by nature, he's a God of love. The scripture reminds us in 1 John 4 and verse 8 that God is love. And it means that God deals with us only in a loving and in a patient manner. Although we may turn and walk away from God, God will never turn and walk away from us. Although we might give up on God and God's people, God will never give up on you. Because God is faithful. Even when we are faithless, God cannot deny who he is. Robert Ingersoll may have been one of the most famous atheists of all time. For not only did he have no faith, but he had no hesitancy in telling others that they should not either. In his traveling lectures, Ingersoll ridiculed everyone who believed in God. And part of his routine was to take out his pocket watch, open it, look at the crowd and say, Almighty God, I will give you five minutes to strike me dead for everything I have said. And then for the next 300 seconds, he would wait for God to do something as he stared at his watch. When time expired, he would say to the crowd, now that proves there is no God, and he would put his timepiece away. When an evangelist by the name of Joseph Parker heard about it, he asked, did that gentleman believe that he could exhaust the patience of an eternal God in five minutes? You see, friends, God is a good God, and he is without a doubt patient towards us, and he's also patient towards the unsaved. In fact, he waits for us. And God never gives up on us. That's why the scripture says in 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9 that the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness, but God is patient towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. In other words, no matter how far you go or no matter how deep a person may fall into the muck and into the mire of sin, God never gives up on us. In fact, that is clearly illustrated in the story of that prodigal son who turned and walked away from his father, but his father stood daily looking and patiently waiting for his son's return. And what a picture of our heavenly father. You see, God wants you to know today that his goodness towards you is unquestioned, that his patience towards you is unbounded, that he never gives up on you, but he patiently waits for our return. My prayer today is that the Spirit of God would take the Word of God and richly bless you.